start with, I'm sure all of you know how to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and show you just in case we're going to be hollowing out the tomato. What I like to do, you're just going to cut off the end with the stem. You're going to go around. It's kind of like carving a pumpkin, but you're not. Okay, reach in, pull that out. And what you're gonna do, the insides, you're gonna save them, drain it into, drain it into your pitcher, and you're gonna dice the insides. They don't have to be fine. And there, I'll scoop out the rest. So you already have all the other three done. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna combine all the ingredients into one bowl. So it's gonna be your four ounce pack of herb goat cheese. And we do sell this in our specialty cheese case. So if you're trying to find it, it'll be down in the bakery. We'll start with that. Once it come out, throw our tuna in, and it's white chunk tuna. We got our peppers. Now, on it, it says, so you two tablespoons of red pepper. I went less than that, you know, because I know the last time with the key lime chicken, it was a little bit spicy. And so I'm gonna take it easy on you guys. I'll be nice to you all tonight. So let's go ahead and add that in there. This is just one tablespoon. Got two tablespoons of breadcrumbs. two tablespoons of olive oil. Our Parmesan, now it says three tablespoons. I went ahead and just put two tablespoons in there since we're gonna keep a tablespoon to the side and that's what we're gonna use to garnish it with. Now you don't have to have just, you know, one tablespoon. You can put as much as you want on there to make it look nice. We'll go ahead and add that in there. And it says salt and pepper to taste. So we won't put a lot in there. And then we have four to five basil leaves in this. It's fresh basil, you can find that in our produce. And you're gonna to wanna to stir it up. And we're gonna add our tomato mixture. And then I'll give it a nice consistency. Now, beforehand, I went ahead and I set my oven to a broil. You're not gonna wanna leave it in there too long. You risk burning the cheese and roasting the tomato and it could just end up being really soft. You don't want your tomato too soft. It could fall apart. Off. It's not the prettiest mixture in the world, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, everything is ugly until you bake it, and after you bake it, it's beautiful. <laughs> Go ahead and put our cutting board over here. Now I have my oiled up pan. They're going to try to float away from me. Okay. I'm gonna put it right here so you guys can see what I'm doing a little bit better. 
since we have a high quantity of the tuna and everything. Because, you know, I was looking at the ingredients and I said, well, you know, that doesn't seem like a lot of tuna and I guess I was wrong. So we're going to go ahead and put it in the oven, and you guys are going to have to remind me to keep an eye on it. Okay. I thought that got sprinkled on afterwards. Am I going crazy? No, you're right. Okay. Uh-uh-uh. I was testing you guys. Trying to run away. Okay. I don't believe in just a tablespoon. Yeah. Because I think whenever it comes out, the more quantity that you put on it, and with the brown on it, it's going to look really nice. I believe they're done. Oh, those look good. Go ahead and plate those up since they're not going to burn my hand. Okay. I'm still wanting to slide around. All right. Now, of course, I'm going to dice these up for you, ladies. Here comes that time. Mm -hmm. 